The Pilbara is a truly remarkable place. A spectacular landscape reveals a harsh climate that would be almost impossible for a city slicker to survive in. Yet Aboriginal people not only survived here, they thrived here. If you look around this area, you'll find a lot of clues about what's here. So we're on a, a mission now to find bush tucker food. And I know I, I've been watching, you've been picking some things as we've gone along with some of the plants, but what can you get? I mean, we're down near the water's edge. I know there's mangroves over there. I could imagine mangrove crabs. What else? Yeah, there's um, quite a few things, but if you have a look down here, mate, you can see that people have been eating oysters. oysters. You like oysters, mate? If we can find oysters, I'm going to be a very happy man. Well, Clinton, I've got a few. They're not exactly the biggest, but they should be all right. That's all right, mate, but check this one out. That's a ripper. Now tell me, would you eat these raw or would you cook them up? Um, we'll just go and get some firewood, make a fire on the beach and just throw them straight on the coals. Oh, sounds perfect. Let's do it. Come on. All right, let's Shall go. Shall I take my little ones? Yeah, just bring it. <laughs> the evening comes with a sunset to revere and it's time to admire a sky saturated in a trillion stars, the same way people have done here for tens of thousands of years. It feels as if time has faded and we share the same consciousness as people before. How are we going there, Clinton? It's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's nearly ready. Should be um, looking good soon. Excuse me, guys. You got a permit for this fire? <laughs> How are you going? All right, yeah. I'm Trevor. Nathan's the ranger. Ah. Well, you've got one of the best jobs in the world. Yeah, a very special place. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest rock arts in the world. Yeah over a million artefacts, uh, petroglyphs. Yeah. So things like, um, you know, dream time stories, is that something you guys would talk about normally around a fire? Yeah, all the time. Uh, having this campfire is one of the most important part of who you are as a people, like for us, you know, and um, you get to learn a lot about one another, about your people, your country. So we get a lot of dream time stories being told around a campfire, and that's when the kids get involved and they learn and listen and learn. Then how are we going here, mate? They're looking pretty good. Yeah, mate, it's ready. Okay. We've got a few others here that I've pulled out and they're good to go, mate. One for you. They are sensational. That's Can we good. keep doing this all night? We could. All right. This is special in ways that are hard to describe. Our 50,000 year old culture remains here today in people like Clinton who share the stories and tales they are our books. The Murujuga National Park is just 20 minutes from Karatha and the best time to be here is between May and November. Now is the time to plan your trip, a holiday that will be uniquely West Australian. You will never forget your visit to our amazing Pilbara.